Hey there, marketing analytics students. In this video, we're finally going to build our prediction model in RapidMiner. Yes! Okay, we did a lot of work to bring our data into RapidMiner so that it'll read correctly, which is great because at this point, it'll actually be quite easy to actually build our prediction model. We're gonna learn about one new operator, the logistic regression operator. And if you get a little stuck, as always, I have rapid minor process files that you can use to get caught back up to the step that we're starting from. This is what our final process at this stage is gonna look like. First, we're gonna search for the logistic regression operator. There'll be several, let's just use the basic one for now. We're gonna drag that operator into the process pane. We're gonna connect the output from our training data into the training input for our logistic regression operator. And then we're gonna connect our model to our results. And then we're also gonna uh, pass through the EXA port to the results as well. All this does is actually just pass through the original data unaltered into our results pane as well. After you set this all up, we simply run the process and observe the results. This shows us the results of our logistic regression analysis. Notice that in our reporting tab here, we have two different tabs. One, this is the original training set. That's because we just passed it through to the results. But here's the results that we're interested in, the actual logistic regression model. Here we see our beta parameters for the logistic regression model. So in other words, we now are able to completely fill in all of those undefined parameters that we had earlier when we were trying to build our logistic regression model. If you look a little deeper, we can actually see a little bit of summary information about the uh, performance of our model. First, notice that our model points out that in total, only 30% of those 400 people didn't actually subscribe to the plan. This is the raw data. So if it's true that 30% of people didn't subscribe, the safe bet would have been that everybody subscribes. Because if you just simply guess that everyone subscribes, you'd be right 70% of the time. Does our prediction model do any better? The answer is yes. If we look here at our confusion matrix, we can see that there were 259 times that our model predicted that someone would subscribe, and they really did subscribe. In addition, there was 84 times that our model predicted that somebody would not subscribe, and they did indeed not subscribe. Adding those numbers together and dividing it by 400 gives us our total overall accuracy, 85.75%. Our model does much better than just guessing. Let's take a look at this lower gains and lift table to, make a little bit, to get a little bit more insight into what the performance of our prediction model looked like. I picked number uh, row eight arbitrarily here. Notice that it's starting at 20%. What this is saying is imagine we selected the 20% of all of our 400 respondents who our model said it was most confident that they would indeed not subscribe to the service. You go to the far right, it says the cumulative response rate would be 82.5%. In other words, among that 20%, 82.5% of them would have, in fact, not subscribed. Well, that was it. Actually, deploying a prediction model in RapidMiner is usually pretty straightforward. It's one of the least challenging tasks that we'll deal with. However, what we really want to do is we want to take that prediction model, we want to take what it predict, predicts and apply it to an entirely new data set. Remember those 1,000 customers that we want to find out if we think they're likely to actually not subscribe to the service. That's what we'll do in the next video. We'll apply this prediction model and, and use that to score those customers that we don't really know what they're gonna do yet.